What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Today we're checking out Brewer, a game where we start our own brewery. So if you ever wanted to get into microbrewing like everybody else on Earth, like legit, there's like 50 microbreweries within 20 miles of me. They are like everywhere. They are a major industry where I live. And they're making some pretty good beers, man. Just don't drink the jalapeno ones. I had a jalapeno ale. That was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. Oh my god, you would not believe how horribly a jalapeno ale sits in your stomach. That thing had me just being like, oh god, please kill me for the rest of the day. Liquor and jalapenos do not mix. Let me say that. Let's start a new game. Uh, yeah, we can leave it on like... I don't know, so the chance to brew high quality beer is better? I don't know, put it on normal. I'm sure it'll be fine, everything will work out. Let's go- oh, I gotta name my brewery, that's why it won't- Well, what if I want my brewery to be called Name Your Brewery? Uh, let's name it... <laughs> we're gonna name it... Bruthe... Yeah, Bruthanacia, there we go, perfect. Welcome to Novo Primorsk, a cozy city located by the ocean. Novo Primorsk is well known for its beer brewing traditions. Many locals love and respect the frothy beverage. It's been your greatest dream to open a small brewery here for a long time, and that dream has finally come true. Nya, nya, nya. Perhaps there'll be a time where you're lying in a hammock on the shore of Novo Primoros Gulf, a glass of your very own homebrew beer in hand, reminiscing of this special day, the day when you first set path, or set foot on path to the beer brewing summit. Brewing is not an easy craft, but are there really any hardships that are truly capable of stopping those who love their trade from the bottom of their heart? There's plenty of work ahead of you. Good luck, brewer. It's true. I love what I do for a living here on the internet. It's like, the work is easy when it doesn't feel like work. It's very, very true. Oh uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll throw the tutorial in. This is a map of your city. You can see the Novo Primorsk suburb of Big Mugs. Other districts and suburbs will be available later. Click this to continue. Okay, let's continue. To move the camera, use the arrow keys and the mouse with the right mug. Okay, like, like so. Oh my god. Okay, it's all over the place. Let's brew some beer! Open the brewery storage panel. Let's do it. All right, so our brewery, our brewer and fermenting wort will be stored here. You haven't got any wort, but you've got some beer. Let's open the list. So we've got malt liquor. The game is after my own heart. I loves me some malt liquor, man. I don't care. Colt 45, King Cobra, uh, Steel Reserve, Mickey's. I don't give a damn. I love me some malt liquor. I'll get some malt liquor going right now. It's so good and it's so smooth. All right, so depending on its sort, beer has different color and basic price. Okay. The main beer characteristics can also depend on its sort of strength, bitterness, and creativity. In addition, each batch of beer has its own quality attribute. Demand for beer depends on its characteristics and quality. Okay, each batch of beer has volume in pints and an expiration date. We have learned the main characteristics of beer. Let's choose one for the first brew. Open the recipe panel. Alright. So there we go. We've got malt liquor. Besides the characteristics we already know, each recipe has such features as difficulty and wort fermentation time. Alright, good to know. We need malt, hop, and yeast to brew beer, and you may need some additives to brew certain sorts of beers. Okay, so let's go with Novo Primorsk Hooch. We're selling hooch right now. So we may, if, if it's gonna be real hooch, we gotta make it in a bathtub in the back of a truck, okay? That's the only way that this works properly. It's a traditional local drink for unpretentious lovers of strong beer. Open the ingredients panel to buy the primary products that you need. So I need malt, I need hops, and I need yeast. Let's do it. So four batches of barley, one batch of hops, and one batch of yeast. Okay. Uh, I believe that it's... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. We need one hop, and we need one yeast. Got him. Let's find out about our brewery tanks. Oddly enough, but beer is brewed in tanks. Open the equipment panel. All right. So we got brewery tanks. Bam, bam, bomb. You have two small tanks at the moment. You'll be able to buy larger ones later. The larger the tank is, the larger the number of pints that can be brewed during one brewing session. All right. Brewing beer as well as all other kinds of work is done by your employees. We have a staff panel. Okay, you have only one employee right now, and it's you. You are the owner of the company. You have no need to pay yourself salary or overtime. Let's start brewing. Do it. And then we'll put it inside that tank right there, and then the boss man will do it. And so we can go 40 pints right now. Okay, brewing takes two hours regardless of the brewing mode or the number of pints. If you don't have enough ingredients to brew the desired amount of beer... Okay. 
Selecting the manual brewing mode, you'll start a mini game during which you can affect the quality of the beer. If you refuse to brew in the manual mode, the quality of beer is determined randomly depending on the total number of brewery upgrades and the recipe difficulty. Yeah, let's do the manual mode. Why not? I like I like doing mini games, sure. All right, so these are the brewing process controllers. While brewing, the indicators of the controllers will move into the red zones. Hold down the left mouse button on the round switch to move the arrow into the green zone. Your task is to keep the arrows as close to green as possible throughout the brewing process. Okay, the less the arrows of the controllers deviate from the green zones, the higher the quality of the brewed beer is. When the arrow on the dial make a full turn, brewing can be completed by pressing the space bar. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we're going to kind of like do our thing over here. Oh, wow, that's they're like moving all by their lonesome right now. They don't care about me at all. They're just fiddling. Man, these things are all over the place. Stop moving, little arrows. Stop moving, little arrows. All right. So we've got 99% quality. Man, I am the dude right now. 99% quality on my first go. You've brewed your first beer batch. However, it isn't ready to drink yet. It's only the worst, or only the wort that should ferment for a period of time. Close the brewed beer window. All right, so we've made the wort. After fermentation is over, you can sell the beer. You can find the list of fermenting wort on the brewery storage panel. Please note the wort takes as much space and storage as brewed beer. Okay, when an employee fulfills certain duties, his experience in an area increases, affecting his efficiency. If an employee idles, I thought I said dies for a second. I was like, yo, how dangerous is this game? Like, I know we're in Russia, but I wasn't expecting to deal with, like, I wasn't expecting to deal with the mob already, you know, like the Eastern Promises coming out here, like the Vori already after our profits. We've made one barrel of beer, and they're already showing up, scissoring their necks and stuff. If an employee idles or does any other kind of work, his experience in this area will decrease. Let's open the pub to sell the beer we just brewed. Okay, I thought they said that we had the wart and it needed to, like, grow longer. This is the district window. A certain number of customers live in every district. These customers are divided into many groups. We've got industry workers. Okay. They like medium and strong beer. We've got tipplers. They want it strong and cheap, so they buy swill, so they're basically alcoholics. We've got partiers. They don't care. They just want light and medium beers. We've got lady friends who want sweet beers that are balanced and light. Okay. All right. Each group of consumers has its own taste preferences. Before you open a new pub in any district, you should study the local market and find out which sorts of beer are in demand here. Okay. We'll open a new pub. That's like all my monies, though. Like, I'm, like, poor now. Okay. In our pub... It will cost $5 per hour. In order to not go bankrupt, you will need to earn the monies, chappy. Okay, profitability decreases if at the end of the working day there are a number of unserved customers. Exceeds the number of customers who bought beer. If the pub's profitability falls to zero, you go bankrupt. If the, bank oh, if the pubs go bankrupt, you lose. Okay, that's good to know. Pubs can be opened at 4 p.m. By this time, you need to deliver beer to the pub from the brewery store so that visitors can uh, buy it. As you probably remember, the boss is busy brewing beer right now. You need to wait for two hours until he's done with his work. Okay. There we go. So we're done. So the boss has finished brewing, so you can begin a new task. Open the list of cars on the equipment panel. Okay. So we've got cars. Boom. We've got a cargo van. Press this button to load beer on in there. Okay, let's load that beer on up. Yep, throw the beer in there. And then we got malt liquor. Throw that in there, too. All that stuff just going straight. Aw, oh, man, it's 75% quality, but my wart was so sexy. It was the best wart ever. Lame. Send this car to the pub. Okay. And then it's got to be the boss man. Beer is in transit. Does it show like a little truck or anything? As we can see, some space in the pub storage is reserved for the beer that you sent. Okay. One of your friends who sells beer in a nearby town decided to support your initiative and sent you a small batch of pale lager as a gift. It will be delivered to your pub soon. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. So the truck is on the way over there, I guess. All right, so the pub is here. Transportation completed. The car is returned to the garage. Also, your friend's gift has arrived at the pub. Now your visitors can buy beer in your pub. Okay, good. It's got 200 pints, 300 pints, 400 pints. Sounds good. Practically nobody knows your pub. The less popular the pub is, the less people that will visit it. The pub's popularity rises when visitors buy beer there and falls when they go away without drinking anything. Okay, you can increase the popularity of your pub by advertising. All right, work on an advertising campaign while the pub is still closed. 
Uh, choose an employee. Yeah, boss man. Do your thing, bro. And then we've got a pub over here. Let's do it. So let's skip another four hours. All right. So it's basically just like word of mouth. So we can open the pub up right now. We can open it. Let's do it. There are no free employees. Uh, so I probably need to go over to like, where was the advertising thing? Yeah, let's go ahead and cancel that. Oh, never mind. It's 4 p.m., which means it's time to open the pub. You need a bartender to bring service to the visitors of your pub. Put the advertising campaign on pause to make your employee free. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. There we go. Open the pub, appointing the boss to the position of bartender. Man, we're just like a renaissance, man. We do all the tasks. You've got your first visitors. The number of visitors depends on the pub's popularity. Not only advertising, but also sales of beer in the pub contribute to the pub's popularity. Okay, so we got 13 people in here. That's all right for a bar. Beer should match the taste preferences of the visitors to make them buy this beer. Click beer, selling, and in transit. The visitor is more likely to buy high-quality beer at a low price than low-quality beer at a high price. Change price, you can adjust the price of the beer. Beer being sold in the pub at the moment is of average quality. The sale price equals to the basic price, which is... Okay, that's confusing. Let's see how sales go. We'll skip an hour. As you can see, you've earned your first money. Some customers buy one pint, some buy two, some leave without buying anything. It's difficult to make everybody happy. Dozens of people visit the pub during the day. That affects how clean and tidy the pub is. Every visitor increases disorder in the pub. Okay, pubs close at midnight. Let's wait till then. Oh, we're making okay money. That's not too bad. There was a dust up in your pub. The disorder is increased to 63 and it costs you 250 bucks to fix the damage. Damn. Okay, a security guard can reduce the probability of a dust up and minimize the negative consequences. Keep waiting till midnight. Alright, your first day came to an end. All employees, including the boss, have rest from midnight till 8 a.m. Go to bed. You need to recharge your batteries for tomorrow. Alright. Off to sleep we go. Good morning. Let's not waste time. Take a shower, have a cup of coffee, and let's get to work. The boss had to work all day, but over time, amount of work will grow, and you will need assistance. Open a staff panel. Okay. Where's the staff panel at? It was right here. Hire an employee. So $5 per working hour. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So Terry, as you remember, your pub is in a disorder after last night. If you don't clean up the pub before opening, its popularity decreases. Open the pub window and give your new employee a task to clean up the pub. Okay. Where's the cleany business at? Yeah, Terry, go ahead and clean up, bro. All right, if an employee works less than eight hours a day, they get a salary for full time. Working day at the end of the day. That's why it's reasonable to give the employee a new task for simple advertising after he finishes the previous one. You can use the auto assignment function in your employees. Bartender, cleaner, security guard, advertiser. Let's return back to beer. Okay. In several days, you'll run short of beer. So you should start brewing beer now to ensure that the sales won't stop after you run short of current beer reserves. All right. Okay. So we've got beer wart over here. Oh, it's got to ferment longer. Okay. I think we should make like some malt liquor. That's just what I think personally. I'm a big malt liquor guy, so like malt liquor is kind of the stuff. Let's brew some. Tank number one. And I guess that'll be me. We'll make 40 pints. Alright. I wanted to see if I could do more, but I guess the small tanks just can't do it. Let's go. Yep, keep this wart nice and sexy. I'm just going to hold down the clicker until I know that it settles. How about that? There we go. 100 quality right there. Beer wart has been brewed. Make a signature recipe. Remember that throughout the game you can make no more than 15 signature recipes. Okay. Well, there you go. We've got one day left on both of those, so they're going to go ahead and ferment, and then we'll be able to turn it into beer, we'll do our thing, and life will be a golden. I don't really want to know what I want to do with my time right now. I guess I can clean the tank. Sell the brewery tank. What does that thing do right there? I assume... 
Oh, it's brewing malt liquor for two hours. Gotcha. Okay, well, we can wait for that. Terry, did you clean this place up? All right, Terry. What I need you to do now, Terry, is I need you to advertise for me. Oh, nice. We got beer as a gift from our friend. And then we also got $5,000. Oh, it wants me to earn $5,000. Okay, so choose Terry. Terry, you go do the advertising thing for right now. Oh, never mind. Keep an eye on the amount of beer in the pub and renew the stocks from time to time. If you understand you're not time to brew enough beer to meet high demand, it would be better to put it on pause, the advertising campaign, or even cut the work time of the pub. Don't open the pub until the end of the day and wait to go to bed. Did it just teleport me to 4 p.m.? I'm pretty sure I just got teleported. Hmm. All right, well, we still got some stuff left, so I'm going to have him advertise and see if we can get our popularity up a little bit. Okay, so apparently we made 400 bucks today. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll go to sleep. We'll see if that beer is ready to go tomorrow. A couple more pints ready to go. We are getting a little bit low. One very sensitive issue. What's so sensitive about it? You have to pay taxes on each pint of beer sold in the pub. You're so hard, or you so hard to profit, and you need to pay these levies. However, it's possible to compensate these expenses. An accountant can hide part of your income from tax inspections. This is a complicated operation in the last four hours, but it will bring you additional income at the end of the day that equals a quarter of the taxes paid that day. Ask one of your employees to do tax evasion. Okay. Terry, are you sure you're up to this task right now? I don't know if you're the kind of guy that knows how to tax evade for me. Don't forget to brew beer. Okay. I will do that. So what's up with my, uh... What's going on with my malt liquor over here? Apparently my hooch is all nice and done, so that's pretty sweet. Can I buy, like, new tanks? Like, let's say that I wanted to buy a new tank that was bigger. How do I do that? So districts and pubs. So we've got big mugs over here. Okay. We've got Terry, who is employed. Should probably hire another guy, Leonard. Apparently, I'm pretty good at bartending. I'm not great at brewing, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff started, I guess. Uh, Leonard, dive on in there, my guy. It takes two hours. Okay, that's fine. I'll just brew some beer, like, over here or something. Uh, yeah, let's make some more hooch. Use that tank right there. And then boss man, do your thing. All right, manual brewing mode. We did pretty well with it last time, so I'm feeling okay about our manual brewing skills. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yup. Oh, nope, I let it fall. I let it fall. Oh, they're hitting me all at the same time. It's deadly out here. Hey, that's 99%. It'll be fine. Okay, and then the other thing that I needed to do is I needed to, like, load and unload here. So let's put some of that in there. Put some of that in there. we got a fruity stout right now, and then we've got a 100 Keller beer. All right, sounds good. So we've got that loaded up now. So now that the car is loaded, let's transport it. To, there's no free employees, huh? Oh, that's right. All right, so now we have free employees. Inspection team from the district administration came to your pub. Officials have not revealed any serious violations. Oh, they're like the health department? Oh, no, it looks like you've got an inspection of supervisory authorities. Fortunately, your employee has just completed the tax evasion operation. If an inspection team arrives when the pub accountant is performing tax evasion, you'll be heavily fined. <laughs> Messing with the IRS out here, but the Russian IRS. What could be worse than the American IRS? Probably the Russian IRS, right? They probably break your kneecaps or some shit. Inspectors may come to your pub at any time during the day, or they may not come at all. Inspectors check not only the accounting documents, but also clean and tidy the pub is. If the level of disorder in the pub is above 35 during the inspection and no one is busy cleaning up, you'll be given a fine and the pub will be closed till the next day. Bribing the dis district administration will keep them from inspecting your pub for the next 24 hours. By the way, if you start evading taxes, you'll increase your profit by another 25% of taxes paid during the day. Inspectors don't normally come more than once a day at the day they've already come, you know what I mean? Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and take this over there. Uh, we'll have... Let's have Leonard do it, I guess. It takes two hours to drive down the street? Leonard, you a lazy bastard, bro. You are a lazy, lazy bastard, Leonard. You are a real lazy bastard. 
Uh, let's go ahead and I wanted to brew some more beer actually. We should probably keep that going. I'll we'll make some more of the hooch, I guess. Uh, Terry, do your thing. He got 93%. He did an okay job. He didn't do too bad. Oof. Okay, he did really bad with that one. Never mind. He did he did pretty poorly with that one. I'm a little embarrassed. All right, so is that all done right now? Are we all finished off with the brews? So we've got, like, we should have a bunch of this stuff, right? So inside of our storage right now, we've got, like, 80 pints of wort ready to go. we got some malt liquor. Oh, no, we got 120 pints ready to go. Okay. All right, we'll be good. Uh, it's 4 p.m. right now, which means it's time to open the bu the pub. Boss man, you do that thing. You'd be a bartender. All right. And then I would like to also have... Let's have Leonard work as a security guard. A briber. Mm, an accountant. We can have Terry do that. It takes six hours. We're almost till midnight, aren't we? If we're open till midnight, we're probably good. There you go. There you go. So we made 500 bucks right there, dude. We are a beer slanger out here. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. Nice job, everybody. There was a dust up in your pub, and there was an inspection. All right. Well, next day, I guess. Um, I would like to assign somebody to clean, please. Leonard, get that done. Takes two hours. Okay. What else we got going on? So that's going to be ready to go in like six hours total. It'll be ready to go, and then we can move all this stuff on over to the bar. Okay, so we got one guy cleaning up. Um, I don't know. Like, are there upgrades or anything I could do? Because I've got like a nice little glut of cash right now. Oh, it wants me to make $5,000, didn't it? Yeah, it wanted me to make $5,000. Okay, well, like, we've got like 400 something pints left. We'll just wait the six hours and then I'll drive the stuff over. So there we go. So now I should have a whole bunch of beer ready to go over there. So we got some hooch. All right. Throw all the hooches in there. Yep. And then we will transport to Big Mugs. And then we'll have Terry do it. It's going to take a couple hours, but it'll be all right. All right. It's officially 4 o'clock. Uh, we have 600 pints of beer ready to go. These people are drinking a lot of beer around here, so I'm actually kind of... No, the game didn't pause. Hold up, I paused it though. Oh man, weak dude. Well, that's problematic. I thought I paused it. I definitely, I feel like I hit the space bar. I'm a little vexed right now. I'm a little, I'm a little vexed, chat. I'm a little vexed. Yeah, we'll have Terry knock that out. And I would like to have a little bit more malt liquor. You know, it seems like it's a lot better to do the manual mode. Just my just my opinion so far. It seems like employees are out here really, really kind of screwing the hooch, I guess. Like, I'm over here trying to make a fine alcoholic experience, and they just keep messing it up, little bastards. Then again, they get paid like $5 an hour, so like, I feel like if we're expecting like top quality work out of them when they work for $5 an hour, like maybe, maybe that might be a bit much to expect. Is the pub okay? Profitability is 81. Do I have any beer that needs to be moved around? Uh, our inspectors haven't come yet. They come once a day from what I understand, so 
We got two hours on that right there. I think. Yeah, Leonard, go advertise, man. We got a couple hours to get stuff done. I need some of this stuff to be transported, I think. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Uh, work in the pub as a bartender boss man. Done. And then I need somebody to work in the pub as a security guard so we don't have fights. And I think we're good. Let's make some monies, chappy. We actually made a lot of money. Like, we're kind of like killing it right now. Uh, how is our stock looking? We got 94 things of beer left. Oh, dude, we don't have enough liquor. We don't have enough liquor at all. Like, in 10 hours, that'll be done? Oof. Yeah, I need some bigger tanks or something. Like, some bigger tanks would really, like, ease this along, I think. How disorderly is it in here? Alright. So, we will have... Leonard, swing on over there. Sweep the place up. We need to, so we got two hours on the wart. I think that actually gives us a pretty good opportunity to clean the tanks. Yeah, let's clean the tanks real fast. We'll scrub them. I think what's happening is it's auto-pausing. I'm hitting space right when it auto-pauses, so it keeps going. That's my guess as to what's occurring right now. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll brew some more beer, I guess. We got a little bit more beer right here. It's not very much, but I need it to be in transit. Yeah, it's fine. Take the malt liquor over there. Ain't nothing else to do, so might as well. And then let's get some more work going. Uh, let's brew some hooch. Yup. Terry. That's all you, bro. That's all you. Get it done, my man. Get it done. These needles are not chilling for me here. I really need the needles to chill. Stop it, needles. Needles. You better stop it, needles. You better stop it. All right. So that'd be good in a little bit. I got to do one more batch, though. Now let's do another one of these guys. Choose the brewery tank right there. We'll have Leonard do it. Throw that in there. And we will manual brew again because that seems to be like the beer that's being made custom, you know, with like spinners and like LEDs on it and stuff. Seems to be of a lot higher quality than when I just like unsupervise these guys and they're like farting in the tank or whatever it is they're doing in order to drop it down by 50%. I'm sorry, I can't keep this monologue going. Like I almost laugh. There you go. There you go. So we got... One day till that's all done. Dude, we have like no beer. I don't know what we're, we think we're going to do tonight. But... Hopefully it's enough to make 200 bucks. Because if it's not enough to make 200 bucks, we got problems. There we go. Successfully completed the objective. And so we've been gifted beer, apparently. Let's invest the money we earn in production development. That's what I was looking for. Firstly, you want to expand your brewery. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Perfect. Secondly, you need to get more capacious brewery tanks. Open your brewery tanks list to buy new ones. Okay. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. It's time to learn a new beer recipe. To learn new recipes, you need special learning points, and you've got one. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Uh, let's get a pale lager. People, everybody loves... Oh, they want me to do the dark lager. Okay. Everybody loves a light lager. I mean, that's like the universal beer right there. Everybody likes a lager every now and again. Now you can brew a new sort of beer. The recipe of the lager is more difficult than the recipes for barley liquor or Nova Primoris Cooch, but its basic price is higher, but its prime cost is almost the same. Now i got to earn 6,000 bucks. 
The downside to that is I have no money. My name is Splattercat, this is Brewer. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, for being a simple looking game aesthetically, it actually seems to have a lot going on underneath the hood. You can get the game down below in the description if you wanted to get it for yourself. If you don't know who I am and what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. If you wanted to see more episodes of this, make sure you hit it with likes. That's how I know who's engaged with what and where so that I know to record more episodes. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed our first impressions and I'll see you next time. Hi to everybody.